Judaism with Soul 20. Opportunity knocks twice. There's a beautiful Gemara in Chagiga, Dav Gimel Amen Aleph, page 3a, which describes and explains a Pasuk in Dvarim Chavav. The Pasuk in Chavav in Dvarim says as follows, Es Hashem he'amarta hayoyim, v'Hashem he'amircha hayom. We affirm God today, and God in turn affirms us today. What does this mean? The Gemara explains. God said to the Jewish people, You made me a singular, unique treasure in this world. I in turn will make you, the Jewish people, a unique, singular treasure in this world. How so? You made me, God says to us, you made me a singular treasure in the world by singling out God as the God of the universe by saying, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad, Hear of Israel, Israelite, listen, Israelite, wake up, Israelite, listen, Israelite. God is one, our God is one. In turn, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, quoting a Pasuk in Divar Yamim, who says, Va'ani, since you made me one singular treasure in this world, God says, I will make you also a singular treasure in this world. What is that? Who is like you, Israel, one nation in the world? In fact, the Gemara later on says that Hashem wears tefillin. He puts on tefillin, and in his tefillin is in our tefillin, we say, Shema Yisrael Hashem Alokin Hashem Echad, God is one. And in God's tefillin, so to speak, God puts the words, Mi Ka'am Cha Yisrael, who is like you, O Israel, one nation in the world. In this give and take relationship, we affirm God, God affirms us. It is evidenced by God's love for us by wanting to give us Yom Tif. God wants us to give us an opportunity to relate to Him, to connect with Him. And the word Mo'ed is meeting. A Mo'ed is a va'ad is a meeting place, is an opportunity to connect with God through history, through the agricultural seasons, flow of the seasons, to connect with God, to relate to God, to thank God, to be part of God's life, so to speak. The Yalkut, Shimoni 782, chapter 782, brings an unbelievable medrash and says as follows. In every single month of the summer, the summer months means the open months, the long months, the clear months, the months where the days are longer than the nights. That's the months of openness, of clarity, of connection, of sunshine, of opportunity, of boiker, of clarity. God wanted to give us, to show us how much he affirms us. He wanted to give us a yontif in every single month of the summer. So he did, almost. He gave us in Nisan Pesach. In Iyar, he gave us Pesach Sheni. In, in Sivan, he gave us Shulis. In Tammuz, says the Yalkut, in Tammuz, God wanted to give us Rosh Hashanah. In Av, He wanted to give us Yom Kippur. Elul, He wanted to make it into the whole Elul, He wanted to make into Sukkot. And the first day of Tishrei, He wanted to make Shemini Atzeres. What happened? On the seventh day of Tammuz, that God wanted to give us a holiday, a Yantif, a Moe, a connection time of of Rosh Hashanah on the 17th day of Tammuz, 40 days after getting the Torah at Mount Sinai, God wanted to give us a yontif called Rosh Hashanah to create the Jewish people as a nation with the blueprint of the Luchos, the first Luchos that Moshe was going to bring down on the 17th day of Tammuz was going to be Rosh Hashanah. Makes sense. Coming down after Shavuos, the next holiday would be a day of celebration of a renewed nation with the Luchos. That's our constitution. Yud Zayin Tammuz would have been Rosh Hashanah. What happened? We didn't have enough faith in Hashem. We asked Mo, uh, Aaron to build us a symbol of power of Moshe Rabbeinu. He built the golden calf as symbol of power of Moshe Rabbeinu, the leadership. And we danced around it as a symbol of power. We didn't pray to it. We danced before it. And therefore, that turned into a terrible day, a day of tragedy, a day of loss, where Moshe Rabbeinu said, you don't not deserve the Luchos. He broke the Luchos and it turned into a fast day. What was going to be Rosh Hashanah in God's eyes turned into a fast day of the 17th day of Tammuz. 22 days later, it should have been the 9th of Av, should have been 
22 days later, should have been the ninth of Av, would have been Yom Kippur. We had Rosh Hashanah. We had an opportunity to connect with God as our constitution. And then a higher level of pure connection with God should have been on Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur should have been on the ninth of Av. What happened? The Jewish people came back with a negative report. The 10 spies came back with a negative report about Eretz Yisrael saying we could not conquer the land. And what should have been Yom Kippur, a high day of joy, of connection to Hashem, of Yom Kippur, turned into Tisha B'Av, a day of fasting and mourning, a day of Bechia Ledoros, a day of sadness for all generations. And we know what happened on Tisha B'Av throughout the generations. That on the Spanish Inquisition, the expulsion of the Jews from Spain by King Ferdinand and Isabella was signed to take effect August 1st, 1492, which was Tisha B'Av. World War I started on Tisha B'Av, and therefore which led to World War II. It was a Bechia Ladoros. In all generations, we cry on Tisha B'Av. It should have been Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur as a positive, joyous day after getting Rosh Hashanah, getting our constitution, Rosh Hashanah, the 17th day of Tammuz, 22 days later, should have been Yom Kippur. But we turned it into a day of Avelus, a day of mourning. Elul should have been all of Sukkot, and the Rosh Chodesh Tishrei should have been Shemini Atzeres. Nevertheless, we had the opportunity, and we lost it. What would have happened had we got the, the Luchos, the tablets of stone from Hashem, 40 days after Shavuos, on the 17th day of Tammuz? Says the Medrash in Shmos 32.16, V'aluchos ma'ase elokim heima, v'amichtav michtav elokim, hu charus halalichos. And the tablets were the work of God, and the writing was the writing of God, engraved upon the tablets. Do not read charus, engraved, Read it as Kherus freedom, free from the evil inclination, free from death, and free from the subjugation of the nations. Had we received the Luchos Rishonos, the first Luchos, the first set of Ten Commandments, by the hand of Hashem, delivered by Moshe Rabbeinu on the 17th day of Tammuz, which should have been Rosh Hashanah, what would have happened? We would have become a nation of God on Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah would have been the celebration of our creation as a nation with our blueprint in our hand, the blueprint of God in, a, in the hands of Moshe, given to the Jewish people as our constitution. And at that day, we would have lived forever, which means every person would have lived forever. We would have had the Eitz Chaim. We would have had the Eitz Chaim that Adam Arishan was not allowed to eat from. In the middle of the garden, we would have been partaking of the Eitz Chaim of the Torah of the Luchos Rishonos, and we would have lived forever. Unfortunately, and sadly, we lost that opportunity. We lost those 22 days between, between the 17th of Tammuz and the 9th of Av. We lost those days which could have been Yontifs, and in turn, they became Bein HaMetzarim, between the tragedy posts, the tragedy of the making of the golden calf, and the tragedy of the spies bringing back a negative report, those 22 days, that period of 22 days in the summertime where we don't shave, we don't have weddings, where we uh, don't have celebrations. And in those days, those days could have been Yantif, but they turned into Avelus, turned into mourning. But those days of 22 days were transferred by Hashem to Tishrei. So the first of Tishrei became Rosh Hashanah. The 10th of Tishrei became Yom Kippur, and the 15th of Tishrei became Sukkot, and the 22nd of Tishrei became Shemini Atzeros. The 22 days which we could have had in Tammuz and Av, those 22 days, became 22 new days, opportunities. Opportunity knocked twice. God gave us an opportunity to rebuild what we lost in Av, Tammuz and Av, and replanted it, paralleled it into Tishrei. This is the idea that opportunity knocks twice. God gave us an opportunity to rebuild, to get back what we lost during the summer months and made in Tishrei a new 22 days. The Bein HaMetzarim 22 days was replaced by the 22 days between Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot, and Shemini Atzeros. So those 22 days replaced the 22 days of tragedy, and now we have 22 days of opportunity to reconnect with God. Our job is to become mindful of this opportunity during these months of Yamim Noraim, Noraim, the 22 days of Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, Shemini Atzeres, and Simchas Torah, 
And the way to do that is in the month prior. In the month of Elul, we have an opportunity of Ani le dodi vedodi li. I am to my beloved as my beloved is to me. What does this mean? King David used these words, Ani le dodi vedodi li, to refer to this opportunity that God has given us a gift, an opportunity knocks twice to repair what we lost in Tammuz and Av and repair it in the month of Elul to prepare ourselves for the month of Tishrei, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot. And he says, Dear Shu Hashem Yishaya, the Navi says, Dear Shu Hashem Behi Matzoi Krauhu Beosa Karov. In Yishaya 55 6, he says, Call out upon God, seek God when he was close. He is close because he is close because he wants to give us an opportunity. Close means he's yearning for our opportunity to do tshuva, to come back to repair what we lost in Tammuz and Av and repair it in Av, in, uh, in Elul, so that in the Ani Lidodi Bidodili, I am to my beloved. As my beloved is me, that's the same parallel of the Pasuk that we began with in Devarim Chavav. Es Hashem Ha'amarta Hayom, I affirm God today, and God affirms us. Hashem Ha'amir Hayom, Hashem affirms us in return, that give and take relationship. is the same as Ani le Dodi Vidodili, I am to my beloved, and God, my beloved, is to me. He wants us to return to Him. He wants us to reconnect with Him. How do we do that? So, David HaMelech says, in the month of Elul, as he says in Tehillim 27.3, he says the following, Lule hamanti liros betu vashem, liros betu vashem, beretz chayi 